<laughs> Good morning, Okoe Region. This is Tony Miles here, and I'm so glad to be with you today. What is it? It is Thirsting Thursday, and we have a great show. And I want to say, it's, I'm honored to have uh, representatives for Cry Out America here, but I, they are not a hidden gem. Let me just say that they are just a gem, and they are just shining all over our region. And so we're going to hear about some great plans that are coming up, a great event that's coming up. And I got two, not one, but two special guests with me today. They're two of my favorite people. I have the Reverend Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Griffin. I'll be called worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the mighty woman of God, pastor, minister, what a come on now, evangelist, prayer warrior, Kay Horner. Wow. So help me welcome these two great people in the kingdom. <laughs> Hope I can live up to all of that. <laughs> well, that's how I feel about you well, anyway. We you feel know. the same way about you. Yeah, thank you, Tony, for having us. Mm -hmm. I am so glad you are here because this is one of my favorite, favorite things to talk about. Absolutely. And it's one of my favorite, uh, let me be totally transparent. I always tell people when I'm involved in something. <laughs> so, yes, I am a big supporter of Cry Out America, and I do participate uh, and work with the, the phenomenal people behind uh, Cry Out America. And before we go any further, and she's not going to like this, we got to honor our leader, Yes. Iris Ray. Absolutely. <laughs> Yay, Iris. She's amazing, isn't she? Yes, she is. Lover, lover, lover. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys, tell us all about this year, Cry Out America. I'm going to let Kay take off and I'll fill in the Well, banks. let's do it this way. Okay. Let's give some, let me back up a little bit. Let's give, uh, let's take a minute and give some backup, yes. background okay. information. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Well, Cry Out America is a national prayer initiative that began in 2008, and Cleveland, Bradley County region have been involved the entire time. Wow. Each year, uh, mobilizing people on 9-11, a critical mm -hmm. wake-up day, yes, wake-up call in our nation, even yes. though there are some people that are a little <laughs> younger now that say, 9-11, what? what? Mm -hmm. But in 2001, our nation received mm -hmm. a very critical wake-up call. Yes. And the Awakening America Alliance, which was a uh, combined group of national leaders who had a heart to see prayer and revival reignited in the nation, to see a true Christ awakening in America. Yes. You can have spiritual awakenings, but we wanted to see a true Christ awakening. And we knew that United Prevailing Prayer renewed pastors who were strengthened and encouraged to courageously preach and engage the, their congregations in the real critical issues of the day. And churches, like Pastor Phil's church, yes. that are revitalized and reaching out, praying and caring and sharing for our communities, that those are components of awakening. So that number one, United Prevailing Prayer, was mm -hmm. one of the first initiatives we started with Cry Out America, engaging people initially to go to their courthouse at noon on 9-11. Yes to cry out for mercy at the place of justice. Yes. And that has just broadened now that there are prayer gatherings in real estate agencies, yes. in yeah. county school offices, and in churches and parks, like we're going to be yes. just all over the nation. Some of them do it the weekend before or on the day of 9-11. And for us this year, because 9-11 occurs on a Wednesday, yes. and we know the Okoye region is in church on <laughs> in Wednesday church. night. That's right. So we want our families to come out and join us on September 12th. So each year, the nation gathers together at different locations within their communities to cry out to God for a Christ awakening in yes. America. Yes, yes. And, you know, as you were speaking with Second Chronicles 7.14, that's like the fine foundational scripture mm -hmm. of this awakening, and I'm going to call it that, sure. of this awakening that we do. Yeah. So what are all the plans for September 12th on the Greenway, right? 
Yes. So what's all the plans? Tell us a, a little bit about the program, what people can expect. And, uh, and I know this year we're honoring families. Yes. So take it well, away. Let's just talk about uh, something a few years ago. I felt a real call to just go set up a tent one day down the Greenway, and I went to some of my pastor <laughs> friends and just asked them, because one of the residual effects of, I think, Crowd America and others is that it's got pastors in it. I've lived here for 18 years, and I can tell you, 18 years ago, you could have never gotten the group of pastors I pray with together with a gun to their head. You just couldn't do it. Right. And now there's 12 pastors that meet with me. I think we're in our third or fourth year together. Amen. We pray every month together from every denomination in town. And so I went to those brothers and said, hey, I need you to help me. And so for a solid week, we set a tent up down on the Greenway, right on the Greenway, and just had a sign that simply said, free prayer. Love and we it. prayed for hundreds and hundreds of people that week from 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night every day. And so we're going to take that idea to this event and set up a series of tents. I think there's 10 or 12 tents that will be set up for yeah. different topics and different needs, including free prayer. Uh, to pray for our community and we hope that obviously we'll catch people that didn't even know this event was happening. Yes. That certainly right. is the hope but also those that are invited to participate in that as well and that's going to involve a lot of our churches and organizations in town as well. So that's one thing we're doing different this year. I'll let Kay speak more about maybe what's going to happen after that. Yes, we have each year focused for the last seven years focused on a different mountain or sphere of culture. Mm -hmm. We focused on education, on government, marketplace, yes. entertainment and media. media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this year is the seventh mountain and we're focusing on praying for our families. Mm. And we realize that in, in this region there are some community champions. Yes that serve our families not just at one time of the year but every day they are selflessly uh, and tirelessly giving themselves to care for our families so prior to 9 11 or 12 this year we are doing an invitation only luncheon to honor these community champions and we'll have pastors like pastor phil <laughs> and others who meet with him regularly to pray that will come and just sit at a table say thank you what's your vision how can we serve you as you are serving families so that's in august that we're doing right. that and then as pastor phil was saying on september 12th beginning at two o'clock there will be these we're calling them prayer stations or yes. tents that will be set up to focus on various issues if you have a need for being free from some life controlling addictions or issues in your life we want you to come. There will be a tent with yes. qualified people there to pray for you. There may be another tent that will pray specifically for your finances. We'll have some gifted leaders that will be there. If you have some financial challenges in your family, bring the whole family and yes. let them come and pray. Yeah. We'll, have, we'll have gifted people set up there. Pastor Jen from the Presbyterian <laughs> Church, Church downtown yes. is is helping um, and we're going to have prayers for families for mothers and fathers yes prayer for God to restore the family altar in yes. our community uh, uh, Tony I started to say <laughs> Pastor Tony and I guess okay. I could <laughs> Pastor Tony is gonna have a tent that people who seem they they've lost their dream mm -hmm. if you feel like that you had a dream and somewhere along the way it got crashed it, it disappeared and there's still a hope and a purpose in your life, Yes. then, then there are going to be people there at a tent called Restoring Hope mm -hmm. that you can bring anyone that you want yeah. to come with you. And at all of these different prayer stations from 2 o'clock in the afternoon, afternoon. until 6.30, yes. there's going to be people there to pray. And if you're walking the Greenway and you see it, Come on over, yes. and it, you don't have. You can go to the free prayer tent. And just say pray for everything in my life. Absolutely. But then at six thirty is when we begin oh, yeah. our, Let's talk about our that evening program. prayer gathering, and I'll kick it back to Pastor Phil and let him share some of these names of the people that are going to be leading specific prayers to bless our families, bless yes. those who serve our families, and also to pray for kingdom power and kingdom living in our families. Yes. Absolutely. It seems like we've tried everything in the world to fix the problems in our world and we've <laughs> forgotten that God gave us something called prayer. Yes. And I remember I was taught years ago by one of my theology professors that prayer is talking to God who listens and responds because He loves us. Mm, right. I love and that. I think people need to understand that, that prayer often, we think that prayer is, is a tool God gave us to change our circumstances. 
And I really believe it's a tool God gave us to change us. Mm. And so what I'd love to see happen at night is for our whole community to come out. And so we've structured this whole program. It's going to be a little over an hour long that we're going to get together to have people from different genres of life, not just all pastors, not just right. all people from the church, but people from the community. And obviously in every area of our families, because it's more than just parents and children, it's the relationships we have. And so that night, I mean, I, I can't see that well without my glasses, but I'm looking down through and seeing some of the pastors. Um, I think Ed Robinson, who's somebody I've just fallen in love with in my <laughs> prayer group. If you've never met this man, no one stays at a church for 40 years, but this man has. He does. And, and he's still there doing the work that he does. But anyway, just, there's going to be musical components to this, prayer components to this, praising the Lord for all the things he's doing in our community. And, we need to recognize that Cleveland is a very unique place. It really is. Yes. I've lived in a lot of places. There's no one that lives in a better place than we do. And so it's really our hope to draw our whole community out that night. Obviously, people that are in need, but also people that can be a blessing to others. And we want to be a part of that blessing as well. And so, Kay, you may want to share more. I can't even see without my reading glasses. <laughs> okay. So, well, I will it? say that another untapped resource that we have in the Okoe region and around the nation are children. Yes. Children can be powerful <laughs> prayers. Yes. yes. Because they have such faith that that innocence of a child that just believes if God yes. said he would do it, he would do it. Yes. So we will have children, uh, we'll have youth and children's choirs. Yes. We'll have children engaging in prayer and scripture reading. Mm -hmm. We'll have Mayor Brooks and I think maybe Mayor Davis is going to be there with us. Uh, uh, folks that you know in this community like Yana Higgins, yes. a mighty woman of prayers, helped to serve with us on our task yes. force. Uh, we're going to have Steve Morgan from yes. First Baptist will be one of our prayers. It's just a long list. Bob and Sandra Malone from Church Alive and, and um, just people that, that have actually walked the walk and some who have faced the challenges yes. and the struggles, maybe they had a child that was dealing with substance abuse or yes. life controlling addictions and issues. And they're going to be there to pray that God will protect our families and God will keep, excuse me, our children and our youth from going down that path. Yes. yes. And so there's going to be prayers of blessings, praise, worship, celebration. The Word of God is going to be proclaimed yes. out in that open air park <laughs> and across that greenway and people coming by, walking by. We're just believing they're going to be drawn in to the yes. sweet presence of the Lord. But we do need to mention, and it just came to mind, that the rain out location yes mm. okay even yes. though we're praying and believing god's going to give us good weather we're have a great day <laughs> that day i'm just going to declare it. <laughs> yes should another hurricane come oh, well, in yeah, or like something <laughs> like we've dealt with before the the alternate location will be peerless road church, church which yeah. is just down the street from right. the uh greenway park but our our plan and our ultimate goal is to be at greenway park beginning at 2 p.m with prayer stations yes 6 30 p.m we will be joining together to use this untapped resource often yes. of prayer mm. believing that god is going to hear our cries and bring a christ awakening to the okoe region yes i love that i just love it love it love it and i just want to say that you know people don't think they have the power but they do mm. And where you really have the power is in prayer. Yes. When you honor him and you pray his heart, that's where you legislate. I want y'all to hear that word, legislate. Right. That is where you have the power to legislate. So you got to come out. You got to join. We're going to do this with a unified voice. Yes. Because there lies power and authority. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, Pastor. It's an honor. I'm so glad you were here, mm -hmm. Pastor Phil. Thank you, Kay. You were powerful, powerful, powerful. And thank you, Okoe Region, for joining us today. Come out, support it, but most importantly, join us in the unity of prayer as we cry out to God. Mm -hmm.